This is Mario Andretti, and you are listening to Below the Yellow Line. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Below the Yellow Line. It is always great to talk to the rising stars of auto racing. We've gotten to uh, talk with a lot of them over these last few weeks. We have another one with us in our studio today. So, Yuvin, if you would, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Yuvin Sundermorthy. Uh, I drive the Able 22 car in the Indy Next by Firestone series. Great to have you on the show. So before you got to the Indy Next series, you had to start somewhere, right? You didn't just you weren't just born and already in an Indy Next ride. What was your start in racing? How did you rise up through the ranks? Yeah, so like most people, I started with go karting. Although I started reasonably late uh, for most people, I started when I was eleven o'clock, o'clock, eleven years old, um, and then uh, moved up kind of through there to the Formula sixteen hundred, uh, F six F sixteen hundred series. Uh, and then to USF 2000, and then uh, the Indy, the Road to Indy, and the USF Pro 2000 series, and then this is going to be my rookie year in the Indy Next series. Well, you mentioned the USF uh, 2000 series there. You won a couple races there. You won at Indy, of course, the track that probably every race driver wants to win at most. But it was more special than most wins. You were the first Indian American to ever win in the USF 2000 series. Kind of talk about the significance of that and you kind of kind of breaking through for big wins. You know, any win is big when it's your first win in a series. But then it's Indianapolis, too. Uh, that makes it a little bit bigger. Yeah, actually, it wasn't my first win in the series. I won in Barber a little earlier that year, but... Um, definitely was super special for me. I've up to that point, I had one in Indy in every series that I've competed in. So it was definitely one of those tracks that it's like, I'm, I know I'm good at this track and I'm really excited for it and ended up getting two wins there that weekend and another podium. So it was definitely a highlight weekend for me. And, um, and it's such a cool track, such a cool facility and being able to stand on that, that same elevated podium is really cool sacred ground there in Indianapolis and you were able to join a list of winners there that that you know reads off like a name of legends whether it be on the road course or the oval uh, certainly a special track there in Indy uh, you mentioned that this is your debut year here in the Indy next series how did you feel St. Pete went a few weeks ago it's been a while now since that race but uh, what were your takeaways from that weekend of racing yeah definitely a long break longer than I'm used to <laughs> um but uh it was, it was definitely a good race obviously um needed to put a little bit more work in just didn't quite have the pace, but also one or two tenths, I think, would have put me eight or nine spots higher in qualifying. So it, it definitely was really good to show how tight and how good this field is. I mean, first through, I think, 20th place, we're all within a half of a second. So it's super, super tight, um, which just means you got to be even more precise. One tiny mistake is going to cost you more than one spot. It's going to be like five, ten spots. So uh, definitely, definitely that is the main thing. And obviously – we know Barber coming up is one of the hardest tracks to pass at. So qualifying is going to be super big. So it's going to be really important to kind of put it all together, but I know we have the car, so I feel like we can, we can do pretty well. You mentioned Barber, how, uh, how important qualifying is going to be there. What are your expectations for where you can run in the race and in really how important is qualifying when you, you mentioned, you know, wanting to have a shot to win, where do you think that threshold is? If you want to have a shot to win that race, you know, front row you think in top five top ten how important is qualifying in terms of just track position whenever y'all run that race here soon yeah it's super important i mean when i won there in 2021 i had to start from the pole and and just defend the whole race that's pretty much what it is but it's it's really the pole is such a big advantage there um especially with no pit stops in our series so so that's going to be excuse me that's going to be one of the big 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 goals is to get uh on that front row and get first place but we know it's going to be tough, but I know we have a fast car. Jacob, uh, uh, my teammate, was first in uh, the off-season testing there. So we know we got a super fast car there. And I think uh, as long as we can put it together, we can do pretty well. Looking forward to that race coming up here soon. Uh, let's move on to a little broader pastures now. You mentioned uh, earlier the, those wins at Indy. Those are always the wins that any driver wants to get no matter where they compete. That is sacred ground for sure. But are there any wins, in, including Indy, or, or any wins other than Indy, that when you look back at your career, maybe in, in 15, 20 years, that, that you really want to have? Is there one photo in the scrapbook that would really stand out? Well, uh, obviously, the the cool tracks are the the St. Pete and all in the Long Beach, Toronto, all those road course tracks. Obviously, the 500 would be uh, an amazing thing. But um, my home race in Milwaukee uh, that we finally go to later this year, I love oval racing, and it's 30 minutes from uh, – where I was born. So it's definitely going to be a really cool track. I can get a bunch of my friends from college over. Um, so that'll definitely be a special, special podium for sure. Especially if we can get them all up there with me on the top step. 
Yeah, love the Milwaukee Mile. Great racing, and for you, a little more special. So uh, my last question for you here, again, kind of looking broad into the future. Um, you know, again, when you look at your career 20, 25 years from now, but what do you want your overall legacy to be? You know, do you, do you want to be a guy that's won multiple championships? You know, I don't I don't think anybody would say they, they you know, don't want to win anything. Um, but uh, what is your overall legacy when you look forward to racing? What do you want that to be? A championship winner, Indy 500 winner? You know, how far do you really think you can go? Yeah, obviously, the like you say, the no one's going to say no to multiple championships. And <laughs> obviously, the Indy 500 is a massive goal of mine. Um, so anything around there would be great. But you know, got to take it step by step at this point. First, I got to get some good results this year, make it up to to the Indy Carly Series, and and hopefully can progress from there. But obviously, I'll take it as it goes, and uh, good results lead to good results, and um, that's just kind of what I got to focus on for now. Step by step, climb that ladder. You've been. Thank you so much for joining us today. I have a feeling we're going to be hearing a lot about you and seeing a lot of pictures of you in Victory Lane here soon as you try to climb that Indy ladder. Thanks. Really appreciate it.